Peace lovies, it's Amira, also known as Blissfully Mindful, back at you with another Living Mindfully video. About to go and get some, look for some plants, and I think I might have to go to a park and try to find um, this piece, you know, I don't know, something, some pebble, something to make it look more decorative naturally like i want to kind of bring nature in with this little project that i'm doing <laughs> i have spent so much money on plants that I now i'm on a, i got the nerve to be on like a budget with it it's about to be going broke trying to get some plants for these planters just not gonna do it so might be doing a little just a little shopping around it's just that i know i went somewhere i've gone so many places looking at plants that I've gotten it all mixed up and I can't even remember where it was that I went but I know I went somewhere and I did I said because I said it out loud I'm like oh my gosh I wish I would have gotten the plants from here they were so much cheaper it's like the exact same type of plants I was looking for but they were significantly cheaper and I just cannot remember where that was I'm like Ugh. anyway but let's go um see what we can find um hopefully we find something i haven't even painted it yet so i still have to do that um hopefully i like that this gold paint well i'm i'm sure anything's gonna look better than what it looks like right now i just don't think i want to spray paint it because then i gotta find somewhere in this concrete jungle where i can go and spray paint something without people looking at me all weird <laughs> and and just you know i don't even know where to go so i'm just like i'm gonna have to try to brush paint it hopefully this works um i don't even know if this works on metal i hope so i didn't even i forgot to even check that so i'm not even sure if it works on metal hopefully it does i guess i should have checked into that before i bought it but i mean it was a couple bucks I mean, it's not like i'm gonna take it back but yeah I had to, I had to RIP one of my plants, one of the ferns. It was, well, I'm still keeping hope alive. I have it back here with the, um, with the garden. I took it, it was a hanging plant. I took it down and put it over here with the garden. See if that will help revive it, but it is struggling. I've had the most difficult, I've had so many ferns. I've never had one survive. I don't know, they don't like me, we don't like each other. I like them, but they don't like me or something. I don't know what they want. You know, and I have tried to facilitate everything I can think of um, that it may want, but it just doesn't seem to want it and it's just not working out. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna keep trying, I'm gonna see if it, if it helps it over there if it does i'll leave it there i mean it's not what i wanted for it aesthetically but i'm gonna just see what happens i have a different type of fern that is okay um i had combined them and i don't think they liked each other too much so that could be some of the issue too the other one isn't dying though that's the initial one that i got and that one is okay it's just the other one was not working the newer one that i got uh, and I'm like, I don't know, you know, maybe um, they all voted it out or something. And they're, they're like, I don't know why she brought her in here because I don't want her. I mean, I don't, I don't know what's happened, but maybe they just voted her out and they just didn't like her. I don't know what's going on because she's the only plant that is having a hard time. Like everyone else is doing fine. They are thriving. I feel like now that it's spring and I have all these trees outside of my window, I feel like I'm bringing the outdoors in with all these plants I have. And I just, the vibe I want it is so gorgeous. Um, and it really does make me feel like I'm bringing the outside nature in. Uh, it's just what I wanted. I knew it, I knew it. when I, You know, you remember you all, it was first, it was a thought. They were just little babies and now oh my god some of them i even started from seed and now they have blah i told you you have to believe in yourself and your ability and just give them love you know and then they would thrive but yes you all remember i took you with me when they were all just little babies little pupskis <laughs> and now they're just growing all crazy yeah even my tree is just growing well the tree wasn't a baby but some of my other ones now i have still a couple that well no actually not a couple now just one no no two two that fern and the snake plant those are really growing slow not really sure what's going on with those i'm probably going to go ahead and get um a full grown snake plant because i don't have time it's messing up my aesthetic that i was trying to get and i was hoping i would have by now but i don't because it's just like it's not dying or anything. It looks healthy and everything. It's just that it's just not really growing. So 
Um, I did just get some new plant food, some, uh, you know, I'm plant-based, so I didn't do the fish stuff, but I did get this um, seaweed kelp type thing. Um, not seaweed. <laughs> I act like I'm eating seaweed snacks. I think it's kelp. Stop it. Okay, the dog, of course. I got some kind of kelp. I think it's kelp. Anyway, it's sea plants, okay? Um, and so it's like, it's got all the nutrients that the plants need, like all the plants could possibly need. It's like a, you know, all purpose type of thing. Works for all kinds of plants. So I have not fed any of the plants yet that, but it wasn't time for them, for the fertilizer yet. I might have it on like a whole schedule and it wasn't time. I think, actually, I think this might be the week for it. So yeah, um, I will see what happens. It was a little pricey. Um, I only could find it online. They have a different kind that you could find more readily in the nurseries and stuff. But this one got way better. Uh, it got a lot more reviews. I won't say necessarily better because the other one gets pretty good reviews as well. But this one just got like, oh my God, thousands and th tens of thousands of reviews. So I was like, okay, let me try this one first. It was a little pricey, but I don't care. I want to try it. <laughs> my plants deserve it. You know, I spoil them so much. But that's why they love me and they're just like growing and grow. Oh my goodness, you all. The tomatoes are so delicious. Yes, eight. Mm, mm, mm. You could just like go on the tomato plant and just pop them on. They just taste so good. They just, It's like just eating grapes. <laughs> they taste so good. They really, oh my gosh. <sighs> I cannot wait until I'm in a bigger space and I can really do this. But this is my practice. So, you know, even though I'm in a tiny space, it doesn't mean I can't, you know, get, I can't start doing the things that get me prepared for my bigger space. See, that's what we're doing here. We gotta, you can't just be all like in this old slump about where you are right now because it's not where you wanna be. You can do, start doing what you need to do to get where you wanna go. Because when I get there, honey, the way my garden is about, I'm just about to be a whole urban farmer, okay? <laughs> like a whole urban farmer with it and so i'm starting with my little urban garden but yes i'm about to be blowing this whole thing all up okay and it's just gonna be like on a way bigger scale than just my little onesie twosie you know little herb plants here no it'll be like a whole row or a whole um rack of that herb and stuff like that yeah we're about to do this so yeah, I'm just doing a little practice here and just getting my, honing my skills so that when I get the bigger space, then I am ready to roll. That's what we're doing here. So, you know, thank you all for joining me and hanging with me while I, through my learning process. But yeah, um, we're gonna take a look at some of these plants cause they have really, they're doing so, the mint is growing like crazy. Um, you know, on our alkaline diet, we don't eat mint. Uh, consume mint or whatever no one eats it <laughs> we don't consume mint now i might have a cheat uh here and there with some tea okay <laughs> especially because it's like spring i love some mint tea you know like yeah you gotta put that in some mix that with some of my other flavors like you can, yeah i might have to it might be some cheating going on with that because, but it's not alkaline. It is not, you know, mint is not alkaline. But I also am growing mint because the bugs don't like mint. So <laughs> you all know I'm all about keeping those bugs at bay. Yeah, they don't like mint. So yeah, we will be keeping mint around here. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna grow another mint. Yeah, another mint plant. Cause I want them kind of, you know, spread it, spread the love. Okay. All up through the apartment. Um, I have some, also some lemon balm. Apparently the bugs don't like that. Whatever the bugs don't like is what I'm growing. Okay. They don't like that stuff. So I'm growing it. So I got the mint and the lemon balm, which they don't like. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to plant some more, find some more spots around that I could kind of, so they can kind of be, you know, dispersed throughout um the lemon balm i gotta actually do some research on that because the leaves are getting a little burnt so i think it's getting a little too much sun might have to 
give it a new home because I'm not sure, you know, it's, it's feeling where it is right now. So, yeah, I might have to um, put that one somewhere else because I don't know what's going on with that. But, yeah. Anyway, as usual, you know, I'm out here. I said I was not going to be up here ranting and here I am. But you know how I get with my garden, you all. It's my baby and I just like get so excited about it. It's just an exciting thing that's going on in my life right now and... You know, apologies if I'm driving you all crazy with it, but this is my new, this is my new life, okay? I want to really do this, like, seriously, you know, grow my own food and be able to do that for myself. It's all about food, clothing, and shelter these days. If you all don't know all the crazy stuff going on, you need to get to holding down your food, clothing, and your shelter, okay? You need to, you need to get that on lock, um... Yeah, because it's, it's, you know, it's a lot of crazy stuff going on. I don't do a whole political stuff all on my channel, so I'm not getting into all that. But, you know, look around, okay? See what's going on. Always stay aware of your um, environment. Always be highly conscious of what's going on and keep your, your conscious awareness of everything at a very heightened level. Always, you know, again, I'm not getting all into the specifics about any of that because that's not what my channel is about just know okay whenever you see me working on something i'm you know i'm just it's all it's all a holistic thing going on in here <laughs> kind of doing a holistic uh lifestyle here where you know i'm just not so in the clouds okay where i'm not aware of what's going on around me and i'm not you know always you should be prepared you know not react but be proactive and so that's more my style more my vibe so something i'm always doing and i'd like to also balance it out with you know my universal laws honey i gotta balance that out with the love for it you know i am really loving this i've always loved growing plants and learning about them and stuff like that something i always did love so that's kind of what i'm doing too um at the same time uh, you know being getting prepared and being prepared and doing something that i'm really loving that i'm able to dump so much love into that it just transforms the whole situation into something else so it, it makes it evolve it makes you evolve so yeah that's what we're doing but anyway let's go to the stores i gotta put an s on in because i really feel like i'm about to be shopping around um again i'm not trying to spend all the you know i should do a challenge where i don't spend more than 20 dollars on these plants because uh yeah let's do it a challenge i challenge you to a duel yes let's challenge each other i want to do it i gotta do it i think i can i think i can i think i can i know i can i know i can <laughs> Whoa, oh my god oh, you know a bird just flew so close to my window <laughs> I thought he was trying to reach out and touch somebody's hand. Okay. So, let's go. See what we can do for $20. I think I can do it, you all. You believe in me? I believe in me. All right, let's go. at the park about to look for some rocks and driftwoodish <laughs> stuff so hopefully I can find something um, the park is a bit crowded today so it's kind of noisy so I'm probably not gonna be in here talking too much it's loud as hell um, and it's a little playground here at the part of the park that we're at but anyway yeah and plus I'm about to be busy getting rocks
and I did I did not film um, when I painted the planters but I did plant the planters it was kind of frustrating because they're not made very well and well particularly one of them in the seams uh, kept having leakage because you know I'm doing hydroponics so kept having leakage, had to do a lot to finally seal that leak. Um, took like a couple days to get it together. And I am happy with the progress so far. It has a long way to go. <laughs> um, I gotta add some plants because you know, this is sparse, but this is just, it's an ongoing project. I will be adding plants to the planter, you know, to make it more robust and all that good stuff. But this is a great start. I'm I'm really loving the vibe of how it's looking and how it's coming out, uh, turning out. I did go to the park and you all came with me. It was very difficult to find the right piece of driftwood. And honestly, I can't say I found it. These will do for now. But as I go uh, hiking throughout the summer and the spring, I will keep looking for that perfect piece. A driftwood to go in each planter because I'm not really feeling any. They're okay, you know, they're okay. I don't want to throw shade on them. It's just that they're not exactly, I have this look in mind and they just don't quite have it. So I have to keep looking, but um, they are going to do for now. And of course the tomato harvesting is going very well. Um, I feel like we have a good number of tomatoes, you know, that we were able to harvest and the dog <laughs> I'm happy with everything how everything is going with every with all of the plants um, this the fern I did add that to the planter you all ignore this dog ringing this bell like she's crazy it's I can't it's like every five minutes since she learned how to ring the bell to go potty but she doesn't have to go potty because she just came back in the house from doing it outside and she did it again when she got inside like two minutes ago so yeah we're just ignoring her right now so please ignore her and of course yeah it's er, it's in the morning it's early in the morning i'm just getting my day started so i'm looking kind of crazy it's all right you know we're all okay we don't have to be all like you know put together like all perfect <laughs> you know all the time you all know i'm not coming on camera like that anyway so yeah it's looking kind of messy right now it's all right but um, yeah, so let's get into our chit chat for today. So was watching um, something very heavy last night before I went to sleep. Probably shouldn't have done that because like it was kind of on my mind, but it wasn't a bad thing that was on my mind because I don't know, maybe someone out there needs to hear, you know, what I'm gonna say. Um, but I was watching, I didn't even know there was a new part out. I was watching Surviving R. Kelly and you know it was it was really heavy you know it's very heavy um definitely just sending loving vibrations out to everybody impacted by it because it's a lot and you know you all know um you know i've shared this with you all that you know there's uh you know been like abuse and stuff in my family and i have a whole book about it uh borrowed eyes definitely check it out i will link it in the description box below um you know it's a very healing book if you need that healing uh definitely check it out and i also have another book um love yourself damn it that one's always at the end of each video um because that one is definitely is very specifically very intentionally geared toward healing you know and healing from whatever whether it's trauma or just the your life journey maybe it's just been difficult just whatever you need like healing from and to come into a space of peace and um satisfaction you know is really geared toward that so shameless plug shameless it's my books you know <laughs> i put a lot i poured a lot okay into those books and really i poured it into the books and because it's just been a role i've kind of played in my family mostly with my mom because of her past you know just a very traumatic past and she has uh dealt with a lot of trauma so it's kind of when i watched that it was you know something i could relate to just as a person to be there for someone that's gone through that the story just from the perspective of a mom 
and a daughter actually a mom and a daughter interesting i was able to kind of see it from both perspectives i just in some instances though i just felt like i wish the moms were um a little more proactive you know because that's the thing you know with stuff like that you look present company included we have all like done some dumb ass stuff like you know made some very poor decisions gotten ourselves in some crazy i've gotten myself in some crazy situations and i wish that my mom was more there for me uh from a less judgy position you know because i didn't have that kind of relationship where i was able to kind of freely talk to her about things that i was feeling that i didn't understand um and that i needed some assistance working through i wasn't really i didn't really have that kind of relationship with her so that's why i was able to kind of see it from this perspective of a daughter and a mom because you know when i became a mom i just made it my point to make sure that i cultivated that type of relationship with my children where i mean i certainly hope they feel comfortable you know coming to me um just when they need to dump you know because sometimes i i'm a different kind well no i think everyone's different sometimes oh you all now the air purifiers on it's noisy in here i'm sorry but i have the um diffuser on because i want some smell good like i'm i'm getting the cozy vibes up here just a heavy topic you know i feel like i want cozy vibes while i talk about it but um yeah you know as a mom I just wanted to make sure that I was able to be there for them and that they feel like, you know, really comfortable at any time. I don't care how dumb they think it is. I really want them to feel like they can come to me and, you know, hopefully I can help them and give them some wisdom and some sound advice about how to just get through the journey. Because we all came here and our journey can is going to look like we intended it to look when we came here. It's not always pretty. You know, it's not always going to be pretty. Um, it's not always going to feel good. It's just it's just how you're able to bounce back, how you're able to get your work yourself through these speed humps that we go through in life and these twists and turns and sometimes these tornadoes and earthquakes and volcanoes and tsunamis <laughs> that we might find ourselves in at the time. So that's what I was kind of feeling when I was looking at it. Like, I mean, obviously those were torrential winds <laughs> that those girls were kind of going through and you know just hopefully they find some healing but if you're somebody out there you know that's gone through some trauma like that i definitely can tell you you know i find healing through nature for me it's very healing all this with my plants that's healing you know i'm growing the plants and i'm growing myself um the plants are very healing pets are very healing uh, maybe someone close to you you need a hug that's healing you know hug. we were just <laughs> My daughter was just telling me about someone on social media that was uh, really going on and on, going in about how sad she was because she didn't have anyone to hug her. And I thought, what? <laughs> but, you know, apparently that happens. And get a pet, get a plant that you can nurture from seed on up. Because as the plant is growing, you're growing. You know, you're growing together. You're, you're nurturing yourself together, you know there's so many ways to nurture yourself and to heal yourself from trauma back to peace because our original state is peace we came here as peace we're going to leave here as peace and we're, we're here to kind of define what peace looks like in between like define those moments of peace and bliss and happiness in between the the beginning and the end for us like that's what we came here for and so this journey brings us it delivers us instances where it challenges us to find that peace you know to find that center to be able to define it so that we can read readily bring it up whenever at will you know we can just readily come into that state at will and that's really what i kind of focus on in the in my book uh, love yourself damn it it's more about that it's more about figuring out how to do that and figuring it out defining for yourself because everyone's definition of it everyone's version of it is going to look different it's going to feel different it's not going to be the same for everyone my version of peace is not going to be someone else's for me peace is just me tending to all the things i like i like to nurture i guess i'm a nurturer so i like to nurture so i'm going to always be finding the next thing to nurture 
<laughs> you know, my children are all just grown and living their own lives. I'm gonna trust me. I'm just a nurturer naturally, so I'm gonna find something else to nurture. Whether I, I'm sure I'm, well, I already know I'll get another dog. <laughs> I might even get a cat too. I don't know. Um, my plants, uh, new foods or new recipes, nurturing my meals. I like to make nurturing meals, you know, that my family feels nurtured by. And I like to just give people the warm and fuzzies that are you know around me that might need that if you need a hug i'm a hugger like you need you all need a hug right now let's hug hugs 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 so no one out there say you needed a hug and you didn't have anyone to give you one because i just gave you a hug <laughs> i just gave you a hug yes yeah, so yeah but anyway when i was watching it i was just so oh my god i was just kind of overcome with some of it was anger sometimes. I mean, it honestly, it went all over the place. Some of it was, was anger, but sometimes, some instances, I felt this outpouring of love because I, I guess someone maybe needed it. Um, other instances, I felt like you could almost kind of empathetic, you could be empathetic, you could kind of feel that trauma and the impact that it had, and the bruises that it left and the scars that it left emotionally, you could kind of feel that, you know, just through the storytelling um, for me, storytelling is so healing. I don't know. There's different ways to heal. You know, maybe just some, for a lot of them, it seemed like just telling the story of what happened was healing. And I hope it actually was though. Because sometimes when I hear people tell the story, the thing is they keep telling the story. And the thing about trauma is when you, every time you tell the story, you relive the trauma. My way of healing from trauma is to release it you know so for me i might do some yoga for me i might meditate i might just go for a hike oh my gosh grounding so therapeutic you all know i have made a video on that on grounding and just how powerful that is the earth the planet is here at your service to help you heal take your shoes and socks off go out there in the grass and just get all the goodness all that good energy and all the good vibrations from the earth from the planet is right there you know the soil the plants the grass the trees the leaves everything it's all like oh my goodness it's all at our service all the time to give to deliver us all the healing that we need also i'm usually able to release somewhere in near a body of water that is very therapeutic for me oh my goodness so therapeutic for me is something so simple writing it because if you're one that you need to talk it out and get it out verbally and orally write it all down every detail write it and then burn it and then never revisit it again just leave it release it don't take it back in because now you're caught now you're nurturing the trauma and that does that's just not gonna it's just gonna keep you going in these loops you're gonna keep revisiting the trauma you're gonna keep reintroducing the trauma to yourself you're gonna keep meeting the trauma through other people that you meet that you're gonna magnetically draw to yourself they're gonna deliver you all the trauma you want if you want to keep holding it and nurturing it and cultivating it and making it this whole new entity that you honestly probably i'm sure you don't want it doesn't feel good trauma never feels good it, it feels good to release it it's like a whole beginning it's fresh it's freeing you know i mean oh my gosh it's like a deliverance <laughs> from uh it's like weight lifted it's so i mean i don't i can't even articulate the release of trauma it i'm serious like everyone I know there's no person walking the earth that has not experienced some form of trauma. Some trauma may be obviously more dramatic, uh, more expressive, more um, painful than others. Of I'm not saying you know that doesn't of course you know because maybe uh, a trauma for one person might be silly and petty to someone else, but. There's no judgment though, because you don't know how one thing impacts one person's versus the other. It's, it doesn't make it any less traumatizing. You know, you can't minimize anyone's trauma because it's their trauma. It happened to them. You know, all the steps and all the things that happened in the course of their life brought them to that trauma. So it impacted them in a way that was very specific to all of the accumulation of all of those events and all of those things that happened to them. 
so you never know you know it may not impact you the same way and honestly like my book borrowed eyes you know when i'm talking about like my mom versus her siblings they all kind of experience this same trauma it's just that it impacted them all differently they don't all they didn't all receive the trauma the same they didn't all process the trauma the same and they didn't all release it the same some didn't release it you know and and they they may never release it you know it's just that if you're looking at this right now i invite you to release it you know any of those ways go buy a body of water and just release it into that water you know let it go let it flow on and let it go let that water transmutate that energy into something good for you you know um oh my gosh your crystals you all know okay crystals i cannot tell you how many times i've had to dump in one of my crystals one of my gemstones like they're there for you they are they transmutate that energy into something so wonderful that you're gonna surprise yourself because you won't even notice it was, it's so subtle how it heals you you know get you some citrine oh my goodness that citrine is, is a powerful stone very very healing citrine absorbs negative energy and transmutates it so get you some citrine keep it on your person at all times until you feel healed until you feel cleansed of all of that trauma hold it with take it with you keep it in your purse look you all i keep i'm gonna keep it 100 with you like when i really really needed some healing i keep that citrine on in my bra <laughs> i keep it on me like i mean all the way on me like of course rose quartz will never do you dirty <laughs> rose quartz is pure love you need some love get you some rose quartz you need you feel like you need to feel some safety and some security get you some black agate get you some tiger's eye um oh my goodness you need to magnetically draw some love to yourself get you some hematite like i could go on and on about the crystals get you some okay if you need the, trust me the crystals oh my goodness i have all i've worked with my crystals in so many ways for healing sometimes um i will write what i want the intention what i want the crystal to do for me i'll write it on a piece of paper um I will tape it onto the bottom of a glass. I will fill the glass with water. I will clean the gemstone and then dunk that, put that into the water, let it sit for how long I need it to sit. Usually I let it sunbathe. Uh, the sun, oh my goodness, you all re release that trauma with the sun. Get the kiss of the sun. Go and sunbathe and just let let that sun wash all of it away. Like um, just all the elements the wind let it blow it away go outside just go outside go into nature you all go outside it's free just to go take yourself outside and heal it doesn't cost you a thing the air isn't charging you the sun's not charging you the trees aren't charging you the flowers and grass none of it is charging you. the ground the earth is not charging you go out there and get grounded literally go do some grounding go out there and walk barefoot i'm telling you it feels good you did it when you were a child because you were healing yourself you were intuitively healing yourself no one had to tell you you do it naturally you go and remember how to heal yourself because you do you just did things naturally whether you were a thumb sucker <laughs> You know you were nursing whatever you needed to do to bring yourself comfort to comfort yourself you you found a way to do it you can still do it now get sit and get quiet silence everything so you can remember so you can bring it back to yourself how did you comfort yourself how did you find healing where did you find it what did you do for me i always liked nature i remember my uncle uh, used to take us on he always used to take us hiking down the trails and it was so fun it was so therapeutic he would take us and we would always go so deep in the woods like he was he didn't even use the trails he was so attuned and he just knew the woods so well but he we would find a creek the water from that creek, the deliciousness of that water oh my gosh so healing i felt like i was drinking from the fountain of just pure bliss <laughs> whenever we would find a, a creek you know it was just oh my gosh it was just it was amazing you know just the feeling of that um he would find us grapevines 
he would cut the grapevines and, and let us swing on them. Like, and we were acting like we were, we were just swinging. Like, we were, I don't know, we were acting like we were animals or something, swinging from tree to tree with the, with the grapevines or just like, it was just so fun. But those things were fun. I remember when I was little, we would take our shoes off, just walk in the grass or do cartwheels and flips, you know, have our little contest. But that was grounding, that was healing. We were releasing things then. Um, just playing, imagination, imaginary play, all of those things. You, you, just because you're a grown up doesn't mean you still can't use your imagination to heal. You know, you can still do that. Maybe start painting, start drawing. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to be all expert with it at immediately. You start with abstract. Just do something that releases all of it. Just let it go. So anyway, I hope that someone out there is getting some healing from all of this, you all, because I'm dedicated to it. I told you all every Sunday, if you are not already subscribed to this channel, be sure to subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be bringing you this goodness, okay? We're going to turn all that stuff around because as heavy as that documentary was, you know, there's still always some light there. There's still always some light. There's never just pure darkness. There's never just pure light. There's the law of polarity. There's both. So if you find yourself in darkness, then you're going to have to get your way and find, and you're going to have to become the light. Illuminate your light so you can illuminate that darkness. Because you are the light. Okay? You are the light. You are the darkness. You're all of it. Okay? So if you're feeling darkness, illuminate. It's, it's time. You are the illuminators. Illuminate. Okay? <laughs> that's what you do you 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 are not just this one thing you are multi-dimensional divine goodness okay yes there is nobody better only you you need some healing i have i don't know how many blog posts on my blog you know blissfully mindful dot life go on there and get some healing let that trauma go and i will see you all next week for another chit chat, another all this other stuff that you know I got going on in my life because I'm always doing like all this stuff and we're gonna keep going with this garden because I gotta get some more plants, you all. I can't leave it like this. It's just looking all it's looking like it just needs it needs more life. I gotta bring more life into it. So but it's a good start. You know, I, you all know me. I got I always get the vision and then I know how I want it to look. It's gonna get there. So I'm I like the whole process though. I, I the creative process, it just it's everything for me. So anyway, I will see you all next week. Sunflower smooches. Peace and love. Love you, love you, love you. Bunches and bunches and bunches and bunches and bunches. And I'll see you next time. Mwah.